Aijo. Rocking the Joker. Formerly known as Ducker Z, a Greninja main. Um, but has switched, switched over to Joker. And has been doing very well in Iowa. Uh, Encore to maybe become their new number one. Because uh, he's been beating their number one uh, Welfare Pickles quite a few times now. Because Welfare Pickles isn't here. But number two and three in Iowa are present at this tournament. Daijobu and Salad. I wonder if his uh, his tag team for is for a technical machine in Pokemon, and if so, which generation? But regardless, they are scrapping here at the center stage. Scents are looking pretty even. Did Animal K has uh, Dajabu at the ledge here. Did, wait, the snake's forward smash healed Ness? I was looking at the left side of the screen. <laughs> this switch is online, apparently. That probably shouldn't be a thing. <laughs> Well, Ness can absorb a lot of explosions, so hopefully for the red team, he does not get too much mileage off of it. But Animal K getting a stack, stock taken at the ledge here. Looking for an edge guard on Joker, he finds it. Yeah, goes for the double back air, misses the first one, catches wow. the second one, gets the third to take TM4's stock. You rarely see Snake go off stage like this. He has he has a Nikita to do it for him. All right, Persona. All right, tries to counter the Cramp C4, but RZI waits it out. All right, Still gets it anyways. I think this is a dead snake. No, not quite. He should nice one. Yep, swoops past that back here. Wow, this team is doing surprisingly well. I, I wonder if RZI and Animal Kingdom had a lot of practice with this team going into this tournament. I can't tell. He stood by Animal King for a while. I can't tell if he stuck the C4 to him to transfer it on to a member of the blue team. All right, looking for... Wow, RZI is scrapping. <laughs> oh yeah, he's really trying to hold down that right side of the stage. In that F tilt. Goes for the forward air, drifting back to the ledge. Does not get it, but regardless, Dajavu can get his on his last stock now. Yeah, right. Oh. That was looking scary. Almost reached with that PK rocket. All right, gonna cross him off stage. Got snakes back here. I think this is so long. Oh, down air to up smash. Not quite gonna kill. Yeah, snake pretty, pretty thick. All right, forward air one to the rest of the forward air. Gonna confirm to the stock right there. Me, Animal King, down to his last stock. Well, TM4 and RZI are holding on though. Oh, All right. Yeah, right there. Animal Kingdom taking out TM4, second stock. RZI is again holding on to the stocks. TM4 is healing a bit off of uh, Snake's grenade, so Daijobo almost died really early. RZI is still living. Yeah. He needs to be careful very careful with explosions though. Uh TM4 is saving a lot, but might not matter here. Yeah, that forward tilt taking that stock at the ledge. Yep, right there. Had bolt ashen covers by Wolf charging up smash. Yeah, they've Char done that uh, a number of times in uh, the 2v1 situations. Healing a little bit off that grenade, but that present is not gonna matter. They just rack it right back up. Getting scooped by the up tilt. Give me those toes, boy. <laughs> It's game one for RCI and Animal Kingdom keeping up their run after their upset earlier. RCI taking four stocks that game. Yeah, I, I was. I feel bad for pushing a snake earlier. It's definitely. Yeah, it's, honestly. It's putting in the work. Yeah, snake not too well known for going off stage and getting edge guards, but he was making it work that that set. Crazy right there. Of course, Snake's back here lingers for a long time. It's pretty good at catching those kind of moves. And when you're fighting Ness, uh, you don't want to throw at Nikita too often because he can absorb it. Which is silly, but... <laughs> a little silly, but... It also gives uh, gives them an advantage in this uh, character selection. Yeah. But regardless, they still lost that game. Let's see if they can pick it up game two. Spear Pillar? Nani? Town. All right, Town. Big stage. A lot, of move, a lot of room to move around. Glass zones aren't too large. 
Ness, Snake, Wolf, and Joker all locked in. We are going to a game number two here on Town and City. No character switches. Big old stage switch. I wonder how Daijobu's going to adjust his play. Because he was not getting much mileage off of Arsene last game. So I have to imagine that's what he needs to go for. Yeah, I only saw him... I think I only saw him get one stock while he had Arsene that last game. Yeah. Right there. Gonna toss him off stage with the forward throw. And that's the forward throw. I mean, a lot of base knockback. Alright, a lot of a lot of chaos going here, here at the left side of the stage. Oh, oh my god! Wow, getting that early stock. Get yeah, on wise Rebel Guard right there. Got the up throw to the grenade to the up air. That how early did that kill? Very early. I don't even know. He was probably like 50. Top of the blast zone. Wow, he's going for snake up throw a lot. Hey, it does have a lot of scoop range. I forgot how much. I forgot about that move. <laughs> See, I should be, I should be using that move. But anyway, regardless, back air, Joker back air, Joker up air. Arsene is here to play, and he is fighting. Yeah, here to play with these heavy hits. Animal K losing his first stock here. Oh, oh, misses the spike hitbox of the uh, down air right there. Oh. Yeah, no Arsene to knock RZI out of that back air. Blue team is having the stock lead here. Uh, TM4 holding it down. Yeah, RZI taking a lot of damage to the stock. Oh no, RZI saves him! Uh, Animal Kingdom had the kill on TM4 with the forward tilt, but RZI back here didn't save his life. Definitely a little, uh, miscommunication between the team there. It's one thing about doubles, oh, there's, you have to have so much awareness. Just because there's so much going on, you have to keep track of your teammate, keep track of both of your opponents. And keep track of where you are at all times, because there does happen uh, a lot of situations where you find yourself like, where am I? Oh, so often in doubles. RGI drops the second stock. Alright, Wolf back throw going to kill Ness. Of course, at 190, not much you can do. Alright. Dajabu sitting here at uh, 134%, keeping RGI off stage. Oh no, what happened? I, I missed it. I he must have died. He probably didn't make it too far with that up B. Alright, forward tilt gonna knock off Dajabu's second stock. Um that early stock he had this take a stock from animal kingdom off blue team had a pretty good lead now it's unfortunate too because of how early uh rzi got that amazing play at the beginning of the game yeah that was the i think the earliest stock we've seen in uh, this uh this doubles block so far but regardless yeah. they need uh they have a little little hill climb to bring this game back all right rzi barely avoiding that downer up air all right, down air to forward air. Oh, right there. Animal Kingdom covering his teammate, allowing him to recover, but gets the downwards gun into the back air. And that is a yo-yo to the face. That's the yo-yo, yeah, yo. Woo! Game two to the blue team right here. The, the Iowa and Indiana team up. And we are going to game three. Much cleaner showing from Daijabu. That uh, that second game, yeah. I feel like he woke up after he uh, died at fifty. <laughs> yeah, he was like, "I can't die at 50. I, I have arson." <laughs> the reason he dies because I think he put up the rebels guard and then um. Yep, they got red. Yeah, he grabbed him and killed him for it. Yeah, not too often you see a uh, snake killing with up air off the top of the screen, especially that early on. Yeah, town city platform, of course, coming in clutch there. <laughs> Uh, I wonder stage pick for game number three. Back to stadium. No, no DSR. Interesting. Uh, I guess they didn't call for it. Same characters. We're not switching. Yeah, both sides pretty comfortable with their character choices. I do not blame them. All right, let's see who will close out this game three. RZI immediately sticking that C4 on the Pokeball right there. Yeah. Wonder if it'll come to play. Alright, blows it up. Not gonna get anything off it. Alright, down throw to dash stack. The wolf's of red and butter. Yeah, Animal K racking up a lot of damage on TM4 here.
All right, looking for the Nikita. Not enough room to even use that move with how much chaos goes on in doubles. Ooh, absorbs the grenade, healing a little bit of percent there. All right, uh, Animal Kingdom bailing out his teammate, giving RCI a chance to recover. All right, up smash, Cassie's Joker with the se second hit. Not going to die just yet. Arsene? No, yep. finds the up tilt. That's going to be an early death for TM4, and Daijobu falls shortly after. Yeah, early lead here for Animal K and RZI. Let's hope they can hold on to that lead if they are trying to close out this game. That'd be like the round one, or game one that we saw. But yeah, that, that downer up there is going to take that stock. Arsene How did hits he tank through very that? hard. I have no idea. He must have only hit him with one of the hitboxes. I'm not sure. That was really silly. Regardless, uh, RCI does eventually fall. Yep, that nest backer is a very strong move. All right, looking for the guns right here into the back air. So it looks pretty good at using these guns. All right, back air sending both blue team players off the stage, charging that forward smash, trying to get some off it. Does not get the mortar off. Right. Arzai keeps going for these forward smashes. Uh, I, I feel like at this point they're, they're probably misinputs. Yeah, I think I think he's trying to go for dash attack. Oh, he's inputting auto, it a little bit too fast. Yeah, auto detonation on C4. I think thankfully not going to kill his teammate just yet. Up tilt back was a silly hitbox, but not going to kill just yet. That wasn't an hard time back here, and it did kill. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it knocked him out of that. Um, what is it? The cipher? Yeah, the yeah. cipher. Taking that stock. And now blue team is up a stock. Up two stocks now, but the up smash from Daishobu. And now the blue team, just like that, has a two stock lead. RZI already is sitting at 72%. Yeah, it's not looking too good for a red team right now. Of course, both members of the blue team are at that percent here. It finds a neutral air to send, send Snake away, but back on stage. Yeah, RZI really trying to avoid that backer from Joker off the stage. Oh, oh. gets the uh, turnaround up tilt. Yeah, baits him to use the magnet and get catch him with the up tilt. So that is going to be good. Right now, Daijobu living for a very long time, 169. Joker is, of course, heavier than he looks, but he's not that heavy. And RZI gets booped off the left side of the stage. He's not looking too good for Animal K here. Yeah, that yo-yo. Yeah, clipped him. Clipped, clipped him. him. He was uh, pressing the A button and just kind of falls to the bottom of the blast zone. All right, and Daijobu going to take all the credit for this victory. <laughs> and that's going to be victory for the blue team. Moving on to winner's quarters. I mean, semis, actually. Top six. Top six. Very solid showing from both teams there.